Hello and welcome. You've seen the title already, so let's dive into it. I'll be comparing these two softwares using the following metrics. Each of them contains 10 points and the total will be 100 points. So let's begin. The first point there is photorealism. V-Ray is the god of photorealism. Right from the earliest point of their release, and they've maintained it till today, so I'm going to give them 10 points. On the other hand, D5 Render came out and has been one of the best challengers to V-Ray in photorealism, especially with people rendering with GPU. So in that aspect, I'm going to give D5 Render 8.5 points because in some aspects, you can still tell that they need to develop. Number two, components and materials. V-Ray have a lot of components and materials online that can be downloaded and used in your project. So as an ACV specialist, um, I'm going to rate them 8 over 10. For D5 Render software itself, we can find a lot of materials, a lot of high-end components that are surprisingly very, very realistic. So I'm going to give them 8 points. And on top of that, you can easily import models from 3D Max, V-Ray and other softwares and they will come with their materials glass materials, metallic materials. So for that reason, I'm going to be giving D5 eight points also. Next is ease of use plus mastery of the software. In this metric, v does poorly because the very, very complex tool to use, a lot of options, tools, too many settings. I'm a certified v user, but if I don't use it for like two years and I go back to the software, it's almost like starting from beginning. So I'm going to rate it five over 10. D5 on the other hand, is a very intuitive software, very easy to use and very easy to master. So on that aspect, I'm going to rate them 10 over 10. Next is real-time feedback. This is very important for AgViz experts. The reason is that once you are applying a material, applying a texture, light, you want to see in real time how that affects your render. Now, V-Ray has been trying to improve on its uh, GPU real-time feedback over the years, but the real-time feedback in D5 is just excellent. You can set it at high and you can see almost the exact thing you are seeing when you render the view. I'll be scoring V-Ray 7 over 10 and for D5, I'm going to give them 9 over 10. Next is speed and render time. The speed of working in D5 compared to the speed of working in V-Ray. Uh, this is no context at all. D5 is very fast. The render time is far, far better than that in V-Ray. So for this, I'm going to be scoring V-Ray 3 over 10 because um, over the years, they try to reduce the render time because it's CPU-based rendering, so I understand that, but um, it cannot be compared to the speed of uh, GPU-based rendering. So uh, I'm going to score D5 render here 7 over 10. The next point is continuous development and fine-tuning. A lot of softwares, when they come out newly, they find it very difficult to iterate and bring out uh, corrections and listen to their users over a very short period of time. D5 has been very excellent right from D5 1.0 and all the iterations and development to D5 2.4 when this video was made. V-Ray, on the other hand, I don't think has been as fast as D5 in development. So I'm just going to rate both of them very close in this one. So for V-Ray, I'm going to rate it five. And for D5, I'm going to give it six points. The next one is specialty for ArcViz renders. I'm, in this point, I'm going to be looking at which render engine was specially designed for architectural visualization. Vira is a very broad, complex software, and it's not always very easy to fine tune it to an architect's need. So for this point, I'm going to give Vira 5 over 10, but on this point, I'm going to give D5 9 over 10, because D5 is specially crafted for arc visualization. So in this case, I'm going to give D5 9 over 10. Before we continue, please just take a minute to smash the like button, click on the subscribe button if you've not done that, and uh, we'll be seeing more on this channel. The next point is animation. A lot of ArcViz need animation to buttress their renders on images. And um, V-Ray ha has animation capabilities and can do a lot of um, tricks and fine tune animation like uh, animate curtains and the rest that can allow you to tweak your animation to look unique to your style. So for that, I'm going to give V-Ray 
6 over 10, but I'm not going to rate them high because it's difficult, if not rather impossible, to produce animation in V-Ray using just one computer. But for D5, you can create stunning, realistic animation in very short time with very little skill. So I'm going to give D5 in this point 9 over 10. Next is pricing. In pricing, they are very close. D5 goes for, I think, about $360 a year. And why V-Ray goes within the realm of $466 per year. So they are very close. And um, that's a difference in $100. So I'm just going to convert that to one point. So I'm going to give V-Ray seven points. And I'll give D5 eight points in pricing. And finally, the last point, I call this soft life. Soft life means whether you want to spend all your whole life waiting for your renders to finish and working on your system or you want to quickly uh, enjoy the rendering process, iterate on it, make changes whenever clients calls you without thinking about how many hours you are going to spend rendering. So for this, I'm going to rate V-Ray 6.0. They've been trying to shorten render times and stuff like that. But for D5 render, I'm going to rate it 9.0. So I've used this 10 metric to compare these two amazing softwares. And uh, this is my total score for each of them. For V-Ray, I have 62 points. And for D5 render, a whooping 84.5 points. Based on my analysis and judgment, I'll be recommending that you go with D5 Render for your next act visualization project. You can drop your take in the comment section. I would like to hear what you think about my analysis and I also want to see what your analysis are between these two software. Thanks for watching. Like, share, subscribe. I'll catch you in the next video. Peace. Cha -cha. I think I should go into acting.